Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is verb phrase 302. The verb phrase today is play nice. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot? Do it right now. Let's get right to it. Um, this is a verb phrase that is especially used with children. If one tells children to play nice, uh, he or she is telling the children to behave while interacting with others. Uh, it suggests, you know, don't fight over toys, which a lot of children often do. Don't tease, well, they also do that. Don't be cruel, don't hit each other, don't cause trouble in general. So that's kind of what it means, you know, because a lot of kids, you know, after a while they, they might start a fight over who knows what. So they say, play nice, play nice, don't do that. All right, it is often used after some trouble has already started. Uh, is about to start, like you see this is about to, you know, these two kids are about to start fighting or they're getting angry at each other. Or you suspect or feel it could start. Well, maybe they've had trouble before. Maybe the same two kids have fought over things before. So you're warning them before time, you know, play nice now. Don't do that. Don't go that way. Uh, it is sometimes used with adults in a sarcastic way to imply they are acting like children or causing trouble. Uh, basically, it is used with adults to try to tell them to be polite, don't be aggressive, or insulting. Okay, let's continue. Play nice has been used for at least the last several decades, at least in English anyway. Some suggest it may have come from the Anglo-Norman uh, re, re frandre, okay, which is supposed to be a French word, uh, which is an old form of uh, refrain. Remember, Anglo-Norman, That's that was that period where the English actually occupied a little part of the northern France, okay? So that's what they meant by Anglo-Norman. But of course, it was mostly French still spoken there. Uh, others say play fair can simply mean act or behave <clears throat> in a certain way, whether you want to or not. Uh, it may have simply come from be nice, uh, be nice as in to be nice to each other. But since it was <clears throat> so often used with children, it simply means be nice while playing. A lot of times we say, you know, play fair, be nice. Okay. And the idea of the French was, the, you know, I guess maybe in French they also say like, refrande, you know, like maybe they say that with kids, you know, to refrain, refrain from causing trouble. Okay, let's continue. All right, and we have our five examples to show just how we use this. Here's the first one. Don't fight over toys. You must learn to share. Play nice. Okay, good. Number two, don't tease her. Uh, it is not nice. Play nice, you too. You know, so again, this is both the first couple here. This is like you're talking to children. Uh, no hitting. Even if you think he did something unfair, you must learn to play nice. This is the way we often say it. Number four, now four and five is with adults, because sometimes we'll use it with adults. Don't make any rude comments when you visit them. Hold your tongue, play nice. Okay. Or number five, everyone needs to follow the rules. Don't cause trouble, just play nice. Okay, and this is the way you may hear it used. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.